Good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy at the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa, continuing our behind the scenes uh, coverage uh, during the COVID-19 shutdown. And today we're gonna have a look at the museum itself. Uh, people know that we are a tank museum, but uh, we are the official regimental museum of the Ontario Regiment RCAC. And we have an extensive static display. Right now we're looking at the lobby of the museum, where we tell the story of the uh, Canadian early militia, uh, which is the origins of the Ontario Regiment and other Canadian regiments. And we actually have, there's the uniform of the first commanding officer of the uh, 34th Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Fairbanks. And we have uh, a diorama here in the lobby uh, showing the uniforms of the early Canadian militia from 1866 in that latter part of the 19th century. And then we have uh, some bilingual panels here talking about uh, the early days of the uh, Canadian Armed Forces, War of 1812, the rebellions, and finally the creation of the 34th Battalion here in what is now Durham Region. And then there's one of our weapons cabinets and it shows, uh, including some ceremonial swords and some of the uh, early weapons, Martini Henry's and uh, India pattern flintlock muskets, the early 19th century. Now, another interesting thing that people may not have seen when they come into the lobby um, is right up above here. We have this old window. And there's a picture in 1914 of the Colonel R.S. McLaughlin Armory, because that window is actually, you can see there in the photo, is the window from the Armory. The Armory was refurbished starting in 2016, and they were gonna throw those old windows out. And uh, we saved them and put them on display here, just telling the story about uh, the Armory. Also in the museum lobby, there is a rest area that, where we also uh, put some of the newer items in the collection on display. Here, we're very fortunate to have these in 2019, they showed up. Um, First World War spiked helmets. And uh, this one here is very rare. This is actually a Prussian helmet and a Bavarian helmet. And uh, also here in a second case in the lobby, currently on display, we have this Colt 45, and it's actually belonged to Captain Mason uh, in 1926. Uh, it was purchased and donated to the museum by one of the members. And most importantly in the lobby, when people come in, uh, they're looking at the early part here of our regimental history and Canadian military history. We want to remind people what the purpose of military museums really is. And one of the most important things uh, you'll find in the lobby that uh, you may not have noticed before is the dedication. That uh, 117,586 Canadians have died in service of this country. And the purpose of the museum is to honor their memory and tell their stories. So uh, just a small video today. You can't see the museum, so we're bringing the museum to you. You can look at this in more detail uh, after the crisis uh, when you can come and give us a visit.